Hey everyone, welcome back to NetPlay's Metal Gear Solid 2. We're going to continue where we last left off, on top of the strut A. Uh, I did find out why I couldn't f uh, find that one item I was looking for. I was looking for the electronic shaver. And I did find out that you can only get it on the normal... Well, we used to be able to get it in all the difficulties, but when you got... When they started re-releasing re these games, uh, they only cha they changed, the, changed it so you can only pick it up on hard or extreme difficulties. I'll let this play. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. Now the shaver doesn't really change the game or anything. That's just a cool little Easter egg, and what what it does later on in the game is kind of funny. But I'm just glad I knew where it went. <laughs> it's not available on normal difficulty. I'm just checking if there's something back here. Right, you gotta be careful. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. I'm gonna check the locker first. Uh, bullets we can't use. Okay. That's too close. Mm -hmm. All it does is bring up the screen every time, so all you do is just leave it if you want to. It's really nothing big. Hmm. And then see where the colonel wants us to go, because I can't remember. According to the SEAL Team 10's communications, the president was sighted on Strut B. Raiden, head for Strut B. It's to the northwest of Strut A, your current location. There's a door on the northwest end of this floor. You can get onto the connecting bridge between struts A and B through there. Cross the AB connecting bridge to strut B. Alright, so it's the top left part. Hmm? I really can't hold anyone up because they still don't have any guns or anything to try to get their dog tags. Ride and watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways while keeping out of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Intercepted? As I said before, they need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the President. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? 
Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. Holy! Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. This is crazy! Is that... Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. I really regret not working on the the grip gauge right now. Yeesh. Because you do have to use the, of course, the grip right now. Oh, that's dangerous. Stop, 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 stop. I think I gotta watch out for those metal grates too, because they do alert them if I run over them. Come on, turn around. Make sure you push the action button too, because if you push the other one, you will, you will just drop down. Whew.
are you? Five today. Or rather, six. Get down! Where is he? Strange smell. You smell like... Are you? It has to be. Shoot him! What are you waiting for? Them. Yeah, Queen? Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? I'll tell you in person. Where are you? In the central unit with the president. Be right there. Hold on. I'm not an enemy. Calm down. My name is... My name is Pliskin. Iroquois Pliskin. Lieutenant Junior Grade. Are you a Navy SEAL? How did you get in? Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? I was part of the Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking missions 60, weapons 80, advanced... VR, huh? But realistic in every way. A virtual grunt of the digital age, that's just great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. What's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the President? 
Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. What's up? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. You all right? Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. What was that man just now? That blood-sucking freak? That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. But around the time their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. They were always close to the edge, but they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. You mean the incident that made this big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Snake is dead. And buried. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment, too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? Can't tell me, huh? Fine with me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Zero. This is Bravo Zero, currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in, all Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about Dead Cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Hey, what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday.
No, actually, you can still go talk to Snake down here. He's taking a nap right now. You're gonna get some bullets. And a funny little... If you go to first person, he's taking a nap. But, however, if you decide to get a little brave... I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> hey. And if you do shoot him, he does go into a gunfight with you. So that's that the smartest of things to do. And also, have you noticed uh, when you first met him, when he was sitting down right here, that he had a roach crawl out from under him? The reason why they kind of focused on that was when you first entered Strut A, the, the room was filled with roaches. And it's kind of weird that he dropped in from the sky and he had roaches in his... <laughs> he had roaches in his pants. But uh, I guess this will be the end of this video because I, I didn't know, I forgot I was going to cover this much story, but I do want to get the grip gauge higher too before I continue. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching. Peace out, and I'll see you next time.